Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I will show you how you can overcome the path length limit on Windows by simply mapping a folder to a drive letter. So let's get started. The first method will be using the command line. So simply go to your Windows button and then type in CMD, then press enter. And this brings up the command prompt. If you're not scared with that, you can also use that. Use the subst command, and then you type in the letter on which you want to mount, let's say Z, double point, and then simply drag your folder in. So for example, the Dropbox folder, I would like to have on Z. Then press enter, and that's basically it. So if you see, so you need to simply refresh this area, and then you see the local disk Z, and that's basically now my Dropbox folder, which is accessed under Z. To undo that, go back to the command line and then type again, subst, Z, double point, so the letter which you want to delete, and then enter a slash D. That will remove the drive letter from your computer. So now the drive letter is gone. So that was basically method one using the command line. If you're not really familiar with the command line and you don't really want to touch this, there is also another way. So you can also use anchor point, which is a collaborative file browser. So simply go to anchorpoint.app and then by clicking on get started, you can then download the application. So once you've done this and then installed it, let me bring it over here. You can also go to your place, for example, the Dropbox folder, and then do a right click. And then by clicking on more options, you can open this in Anchor Point. And now Anchor Point will show up and it shows me the Dropbox folder here. What we need to do is enable the mounting settings. So simply go here under Workspace Settings, under Actions, and then enable Map Folder as Drive. And that's basically the extension which allows us to do drive mapping. Then, if you are in a Dropbox folder, do a right click and simply click on Map as Drive. And then it asks you which drive letter should we assign it. And let's stick to Z. And if I click on map, it added the drive basically here. So this folder under my Dropbox is also available here under Z basically. And it appeared again here in the Windows Explorer. So what we can do is also revert that. So we do a right click and then say unmap drive. And then we simply pick the Z. And it's gone from here. So that's all about it. So this is the way how you can map drive letters. It's useful, especially if you want to overcome the file path limit on Windows, or let's say you work on a Dropbox and multiple people work on that, and you want to bring it on the same letter, because let's say you work with applications which require absolute file paths. All right, I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching.